It's a Saturday morning and I'm really tired, but it's a really good day to go pull home another family SUV because my wife likes SUVs. Cheers. All right, uh, so I'm getting this Honda Pilot. Oh, hey, maybe you've seen <laughs> this lovely, lovely human uh, in the fire truck videos. Yep. Yeah, world famous. I'm giving you coffee and I'm taking that away. <laughs> No drives! And stops! And it stops! Alright, so let's see. There, there's a possibility. Oh, this is special. This is really special. She said she wants it? Yeah, apparently. Um because wives like SUVs. Alright. It's way far back. Oh wait, this has power seats? Oh, yeah, look at that. All right. All right, I'm gonna try to fire it, see what happens. Okay, so I'm thinking time belt. You don't think so? No. Okay, okay. So we're gonna, I'll, I'll see about this later. Uh, that is going to tow that. You look very happy about this. And uh, it's nice to know you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at us. Look how fancy we are. Okay, what could possibly, possibly, possibly go wrong? Yeah, okay, so this is uh, taking a time belt cover off, which of course is not fun. And uh, yeah, there's no time belt on that. That seems problematic. Oh, there's a little bit left over of it. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Oh, oh no, no, that's, that's, that's from, yeah, that's from the electrical. Okay, well, that um, <clears throat> explains that. Yeah, that's too bad because that is definitely supposed to have a belt over it. I'm going to pull a spark plug out just to get an idea if it's complete garbooned with that valve train or not. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're going to start with this project. First things first, four bolts. It's right here at the top, 10 millimeter. Very easy. All right, there's a flathead there, a flathead there, and this pops up. And then you take uh, probably a hex and pop one of those coil packs off. All right, getting the clearance um, around here. I'm sure you're probably supposed to take the shroud off, but I was able to do it just with a regular extension. And uh, actually the spark plug doesn't look that bad. Foremost expert on the Honda Pilot, Mr. Casey Miller here today, examining um, that. Yeah, there's you know, timing belt that's missing. About the leak kit. But <laughs> time, uh, but as he said, uh, good tires and uh, headlights are super Gucci. And uh, yeah, we're gonna stick a bore down each one of these to see uh, just how screwed it is, and I don't know some other fun stuff because you actually know what you're doing and I don't. I pretend I don't like them. <laughs> This is the cylinder, well, second cylinder that we're looking at. Who knows what cylinder it actually is. Oh, that one looks way clean compared to the other one. That one looks super clean. Is that damaged though right there? I don't think that's damaged, I think it's just carbon. Looks good to me. All right, so take a look at this third cylinder here. Turn this on. Uh, give it a little wipey wipe. There we go. Depths tech. That looks okay, that looks okay. Let's take a look at this one. What I'm confused about is it looks, it uh, might just be shining on the cylinder, but the stuff above the piston? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is, but, that, is that like just crap or is that damage? Oh, sorry. Uh, Cause like if it hit him and then it bent and it came back and hit him again, it would be in a different spot. I think we might have got lucky. Okay. But what I would like to do is take this cover off and see if the belt it's still on it. It's still being held by this, because what I've seen before is belts break on the bottom, and it, both the cams get held with the tensioner here. Ah. And it holds them right in the perfect spot. All right. I found it. We found some belt. That's fun. Well, there's your problem. Oh, geez, just kind of. But if I'm not mistaken. It's on. 
that means that that one probably at least held. Uh, we just keep losing bolts and they keep hitting the bottom. I'm just gonna leave that there. I think the timing mark is pretty dang. Yeah, this one's almost. So that timing mark is good there. Well, I don't know where the crank is right now, but. And then that one, there's the time mark. Is it on? Isn't that it right there? Yeah, uh, look in the. Oh. Okay, so actually that's that's 180. It's 180. AC. Cool. Rear climate control, which you can control from the front. Nice, okay. And then you've got your jack here. Oh wow, factory one still there. Everything. Sheesh. Mm. Storage for days. Okay. Someone took it to the beach. And then yeah, and so it's got third row. Oh, I got child seat anchors. There we go for the third row. Oh, you can put six car seats in here. That's oh, why we got it. Boom. And you've got little D rings here, so you want to strap stuff down, and then seat belts up here. I don't know what was going on up there. What in the? <laughs> huh. Um. That's special. That used to have the TV. Have a chandelier. <laughs> That's uh. It might have had a DVD. Well, no, it's not. It doesn't have. I guess it's 2003, so no nav. But what the heck is? That? Uh, yeah, that had to be a DVD player. That seems like a lot of wiring for that, though. It also seems like not factory. Oh, that's very hot. right. And we've got hot. defroster back here. Stuffs really. That's a handy. Look at that. It's literally six car seats. Oh, I've had four. Somebody need to tell me, Casey. More kids. I have, I have issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that had to happen, and that definitely got pushed up there, which was uh, fun. Fun, right? Is that the word? Yeah, something like that. All right, so splash guard coming off. We're going to take a look at the crank. All right. How do we see? Have those things maybe had a power steering rack? Maybe. I did not know that's where the uh, oil filter is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so splash guard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Couple, couple of cracks back there? Yeah, just a few. <laughs> okay. This one asked me for a dollar. <laughs> easier road ahead of us. Come on, Harbor Freight, don't let me down. I'm shocked, actually. Not wrong. Huh. Well, that made life a lot easier. Is that normally difficult? Well, yeah, they make a special tool to hold the crank because they're usually on there so tight. Oh. It's like a big socket that you can put another socket through oh. to hold it. Socket to you. You got the power? Motor mount's coming off. And safely supported from the bottom. This thing scares me. <laughs> yeah, that one's always the front one. She had some age on her. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, wrinkly. It's not the worst I've seen, but like, yeah, but. Okay, so we we'll and, we, and we took the power steering power out. Steering's out okay. up here. Yeah. And then next, that. we're gonna pop serpentine belt off and balancer off. See how that looks? But yeah, that that one looks like it's out 180. It definitely is. So that could be interesting. Yeah, it really depends on where the crank is relatively. A triangle. Not so we check. Oh, I can see it. Yep. Where's the mark on the balancer, though? Sometimes they're weird ones. I'd have to look it up again. Oh my gosh. Brand new, never used low miles. I know what I got. <laughs> no low ballers. Five hundred cash. Yeah. Five hundred cash. Cash. cash king. Can you do payments? <laughs> do you take a firm? Oh. Okay, so you put. Okay, so there's a tensioner for the serpentine belt. Got that so up. This should just pop right off, right? 
Story. It's Wiggle. Whoa, get Wiggle with it. There we go. My life is balanced. <laughs> there we go. So, see, good example right here. These keyways are really important. Oh, yeah. People sometimes will put them on without. These get loose. Got to make sure they're in there. So we're going to set this here so we don't forget it. And we're going to get the timing cover off. That looks uh, damaged on that side. There's the belt. Yep. Alrighty. So that's... That seems problematic. Yeah, let's take that off. I wonder if there's something in there where it got in. Oh, I wonder if we'll find a mouse or something. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get that cover off to see what the heck is down there. Um, labeled. So that's what the inspection cover is for. You pop that off, turn the crank to each one of these, and then you can adjust each valve properly. Fun. So, yeah. Alright, so got the dipstick out. How many bolts are there? A billion? A million? Yeah. Ones you can miss. Okay. Oh, it's jammed. Is that jammed up? Yeah, she's a little cross-eyed. All right, let's see. Oh, that's fun. Yikes on bikes. We'll have to straighten that out. These have beveled edge. Fun. So we're gonna lay that like that, so we don't forget. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's crammed in there. But that might... Ooh, okay. I think this is a crank sensor. We're gonna need to do one of those. See, that's cracked right there. Uh, actually, that was something I saw. Yeah, I saw that on... Um, I actually saw that online. A couple other people said that, that's, that when they, their engine stopped running, they ran the code, and that was the code that came up. And I'm worried if it bent the... At the crank. The reluctor. Dude. Yeah, that got in there good. Oh. Ah, she's good. And then we'll do uh, at least a crank seal over here. Mm. That's a good starting point. All right, this is like day, what, 35 or something like that of working on this. Uh, Casey, the pilot magician or magic. Um, this is where we got right here. That's, uh, that's definitely a screwdriver holding in that tensioner. This is just so we can at least turn the motor over by hand to make sure no valves are hitting. And then see if we can start it and see if it runs. What the heck is going on? Okay, yeah. Scary man. So, don't worry, we're not reusing that because that would be sketchy, and I also have two more of them, but just to see if, uh... It, did we get lucky? Look at science. Oh, that's too much. It's science and math. So, uh, Casey's having fun. Right. And, um, I'm gonna drop the coolant because, uh, we should probably replace the water pump because, uh, this one looks really good, you know, and the one that's in there probably does it, right? Sure. Alright, so... Lifting the engine back up because this whole situation needs to be removed where the uh, water pump is right down there. Maybe because we both have kids, but we're really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> the coolant's coming straight through the pee hole. Something like that. Okay, so got that popped off because the uh, water pump's going to go in. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. But yeah. Another hundred thousand on her. So you're saying that the back cam? The back cam is really close because right there, valve's touching. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's got to be close, man. All right, there's a some very shiny stuff <laughs> that's down there. So it looks like all the way down there. That's the the crank positioning sensor with the new bracket that I found on a sketchy Honda website. And then we have some pulleys, the new water pump, and that's definitely a random, you know, like an Ikea uh, screwdriver that's holding in the tensioner at the moment. 
uh, which is, uh, that's factory, right? That's what you're supposed yeah, to do. factory OEM. Yeah. Um, all that fun stuff. It's in the Chilton manual. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. uh, next step is to get these into top dead center, which uh, this one is close. That one is not. So, uh, what's the worst thing that could happen? Uh, all this work for nothing. <laughs> okay. And then down here, there we go. So, you can see that the... Crank the shaft is up top dead. Yep, crank. The shaft is up top dead. Everything is back where it's supposed to be. And uh, that little key that's right there at the top. Casey said that's important, right? It's very important. Very important. Helps you line stuff up and things like that. Okay. Right, so I'm just trying to be cautious. Just don't want this thing to snap back around on me. Yes, and that is an old school torque wrench. <laughs> Whoops. All right, hold on. So we're either hitting something or it's pressure. It's compression. Hey, that's good. <laughs> right? Compression, yeah, yes. Yeah. Wait, I know what's wrong with it. it ain't I got, got no gas, gas in it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you hate yourself too much. Force it. So that one's stuck too? Yeah. Mm, okay. But the cams are almost both 180 out. Wait, just saying. Do you, so if I put it back. You can hit it hearing, knocking. So, uh oh, ladies and gentlemen. He has an idea. Oh! I need a motor to rotate backwards. Working so. smarter and not harder since 19. <laughs> Something or other. <laughs> oh, he's going to use it to move it. So uh -huh. move the crank back. So now if that moves back further, then we know we're on the right track. Let's go try this again. Okay, so this one's the difficult one. Cause it's got a hold. So don't touch it. Don't breathe. I think it's all right. Crank bolts coming in. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Well, that's pretty dang close to me. Okay. So we. Guys, okay. you look good. Uh... And that one's in. Uh, that one. Oh yeah, look at that. That's it. That's way better than it was. Okay, so um, we should probably put that last spark plug in. That's a free moving engine. Yeah, and I heard. I heard it fart. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> yeah, I heard a fart. Or is that you? Uh, teamwork. Teamwork. Team, teamwork. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I heard a compression. I need my catalytic converter change. T tell me how you're feeling. <laughs> the weight's off my shoulders, even though it's pretty far from done. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Spark plugs. Um, spark plugs. Spark plugs. And plug the coils in. And then... Fire away? Fire away. <laughs> that, got the sensor in. It got sheared off right there. Got that, um, the bracket in. And crank's in place. Crank pulley's in place. And then, coming up here, let go of the hydraulic tensioner. So that's in place. Yes, these are kind of a pain. But yeah, get those, uh, it make sure there's a spark plug in them because we have a. There's, there's spark a plug. rogue spark plug, yeah. Um, we weren't that smart on that one, were we? Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, we forgot about you know uh, that one too. So, spark plugs back in, and then coils back in. Random spark plugs back in, coils back in, and power steering pump that likes to leak all over the place. And uh, now we're gonna fire this up. All right, uh, about to start start this. Got that up there just chilling. And a couple things missing. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. All right. Do my heart's beating. <laughs> so, parking brake is on. Parking brake is on. Keys? Okay. All righty. Here we go. Fire in the hole. Kill it. Do 
either out.